Hello everyone! Today, we will study about MAPE Part 6. This is Quarter 3 using the Learner's Packet or Lib. This is Lesson Number 8, Week 8, Participates in School District Exhibit. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, like, and write your comment down below. Thank you! February is National Arts Month as per Presidential Proclamation No. 683, signed in 1991. It highlighted the importance of acknowledging exceptional artistic contribution and promoting artistic movement and expressions as embodied in the field of visual arts, architecture, music, dance, literary arts, etc. Cultural programs and art-related activities such as free art workshops, art exhibitions, music, dance, theater performance, etc. are all explored on both the national and the local level. Learning task number one. Have you experienced participating in an art exhibit? Try to remember your experiences in celebrating the National Arts Month in your school. Answer the following questions and write it in your notebook. Learning task number one, guide questions. Number one. How the school celebrates National Arts Month? Number two, what artworks did you find in the exhibit? Number three, why do we need this kind of activity in a school? Here are the possible answers. Number one, our school celebrates National Arts Month through different activities relating to music, folk dance, and visual arts like singing contests, photo exhibit, and folk dance presentation. Number two, in our school, photos showing positive Filipino values were displayed. Number three, we need these activities in school to inspire the children to be inclined in arts and continue the Filipino cultural heritage. An art exhibit is traditionally the space in which art objects meet an audience. Such exhibits may exhibit pictures, drawing, performance, sculptures, new media art, etc. by individual artists, group of artists, or collections of a specific form of art. Are you ready to create your own simple exhibit in your home? Let's do it! Learning task number two. Look for a particular corner in your home wherein you can mount your own exhibit. Gather all your artworks on the different activities in arts subject that you had processed. Ask your parents or relatives to help you by asking suggestions on how to put up your own art exhibit. Please refer to learning task number three. Learning task number three. Follow the steps in mounting your exhibition. Here are the steps. Number 1. Exhibit area. Letter A. Consider the location of your exhibit. Letter B. The arrangement of your artworks. Letter C. Decorations of the exhibit area. Number 2. Information. Letter A. Put a title for your art space. Example, my masterpiece or the art. 
Letter B, description of your art activity, such as title of the activity, materials used, and techniques. Number three, ask for help to your MAPI teacher and parents about the documentation of this activity. Number four, take a photo of your corner using a cell phone if there is any and submit it to your teacher. Learning task number four, after putting up your exhibit, Take time to answer the following reflection questions and write it on your notebook. Here are the reflection questions. Number one, what did you feel after mounting your own exhibit? Number two, what reactions did you hear from your viewers or audience after mounting your own art exhibit? Number three, how does the activity help you to be more creative or artistic? Here are the possible answers. Number one, after mounting my own exhibit, I felt joy and fulfillment about my own creation. Number two, I heard praises and commendations from my viewers. Number three, this activity helped me to become more creative and passionate about arts. I'm inspired to create more artistic works in the future. Learning task number five, ask someone of the viewers of your exhibit to evaluate your performance in this activity. Here are the indicators. Number one. Exhibit was arranged properly. Number two, show creativity in presenting his or her artworks. Number three, follow the instructions. Here are the possible performance evaluations. Number one, ten. Number two, ten. And number three, ten. For your reflection, write, I understand that blank. I realize that blank. And I need to learn more about blank. Great job everyone. Thank you for watching.